Cleo. Happy Adoptiversary, Cleo. Three years with Cleo. After I groomed my first shelter dog uh, and I just saw the transformation that happened, I just said, you know, I need to keep doing this. And now, uh, about 600 dogs later, over the last three years, I'm still doing it. When I am introduced to a mad dog, it's, it's one of two extremes. Uh, either the dog is extremely timid and sort of fearful and afraid, or the dog is very aggressive and very, very violent uh, because he's uncomfortable and he's in a lot of pain. I then realized that there was a mat that was connected to a very uncomfortable spot on him. And once I got rid of that mat, he totally calmed down. So that was just amazing. Earlier, I groomed a dog who was super sweet the whole time through, although he was timid. And then afterwards, he was somewhat excitable and jumping around, so it was fabulous. Brooke uh, came in in really bad shape. Brooke isn't happy, but uh, we're going to hopefully make Brooke more comfortable and happier, and then Brooke's going to be adorable and loving. Hi, Brooke. The grooming process for a matted dog is a little bit different than a normal gr uh, groom. For a matted dog, the, the process is you sort of have to find an opening in the mat and get underneath it. Unfortunately, if you have to cut through the mat, you have to cut through it in a, in a way that you don't cut into the animal. I think it's just important to help animals and to love them because they give such love in return.